and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the most overpowered players in Madden that you need right now before most feared. So I'm, I'm doing this because I haven't done this in quite a while, and I've been thinking about it, and with most feared coming, I'm imagining a special stream Thursday, which means the promo could drop potentially next week or on that Friday. So to prepare for that, I'm going to give you guys the final update of like the last, because we're not going to have any big content coming out until most feared. So I feel pretty confident that I can tell you guys the final like update of players that are just crazy overpowered still that you could really pick up before we go into this that you could still use into that promo. I'm going to go over a few. I'll tell you guys which ones have more longevity than others so you guys can have a good idea of what you should be keeping and what you just is a good idea to know. Some you should actually keep. Some have I have most of these guys on my team for the most part. These guys I truly believe in. But guys, before we get into this video, boys, we are 70 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers. That is crazy. I never thought this day would come. I, I had like a four-year plan when I started YouTube, and truthfully, in my four-year plan, I didn't hit 10K to like my third year. So this is pretty crazy that within my first like seven months, we're hitting it. So guys, if you could so kindly, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Everyone you watch this, let's get to 10K. There's 70 seats left in the 10K gang, and you guys aren't going to want to miss out. So make sure you come join the gang. We got 70 spots left. Also, turn on that noti bell as soon as you subscribe. Also, guys, stay tuned for all the content that I drop daily. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. And comment down below some video idea, guys. I'm going to need some video ideas this week. I always like taking video ideas from you guys. This is one of them. So just comment down below, guys. Now, let's get into this video. Let's start with number 10. Number 10. The only reason he's not higher on this list, the, literally the only reason, is because of availability of this position. If he was not this position, he'd be a lot higher on this list. He'd have to be. He's easily a top five player in this game right now, used properly. And that's Jamal Adams. Mud here is Jamal Adams. See, the only reason that this card isn't like a top five card is because of Pat Tillman. He's got 87 speed, 86 excel, 82 tackle, 92 play rec, 90 pursuit, 86 man, 87 zone coverage, and 94 hit power. Powered up and chemmed up, this guy could have like an 88 speed, 88 excel, 83 tackle, like a 94 play rec, 92 pursuit. He could easily, with John Madden um, pass defense powered up with lockdown, have 90 zone, 90 man. So he'd have threshold man, threshold zone, a high ass hit power with speed. Usually on a safety, if you have zone and man, you don't have hit power or even speed. And if you do have speed with some zone, you have no man or hit power. He has everything. This card is a hybrid of every sort. He can do literally everything. He's pretty much baby Pat Tillman, if you really look at it. Except he can get man too, so that actually gives him a little bit of an advantage over Pat Tillman. He just doesn't quite get some of the other abilities that uh, Pat Tillman can get, like tackling and speed and play rec and like all the other stuff. And pursuit, which is huge. But for you guys who aren't even close to Pat Tillman, that's a great option. Next on this list is another guy that... It's not that he's you're going to see his difference like an offensive or defensive player, but you can lock this guy into your right guard spot for literally maybe a month or two, and you won't even notice that his other, you won't even notice like a pass rush. Trust me, David DeCastro, because with the way Madden plays with thresholds, David DeCastro hits every single one, which is what you look for in a player. This early in the year, it's kind of hard to find a lineman or anyone in general that hits every threshold, like all above 90 stats like that. So with the way Madden plays, you can literally put the Castro in your right guard spot for like a month or two, and he will lock down. He he will create lanes in the run game, and he will hold blocks in the pass game. He will do it all for you. David DeCastro is a beastly right guard. Do not overlook him. I think he's one of the best players. That's why I, I'm actually keeping this one. I bought him. I'm, I plan to keep him throughout, uh, even most feared. I don't anticipate me upgrading him at all. He was a good price. I did the set. I have no problem holding on to him for the long haul. Next, this guy. So this guy here. He's already fading out of the game with all the new cards, but like Willie Brown is still really, really good, and he's really, really cheap. You want to look at Willie Brown, right? You compare him to a guy like Ramsey. Obviously, Ramsey's better, but they have similar speed, worse excel, similar agility, worse jumping, even play rec, similar man, similar zone, similar press. So if you chemmed up Willie Brown, remember this one's powered. If you chemmed and powered him up, Willie Brown would have damn near the same zone, same press. He'd have close to the same man. He'd have better play rec. He'd have close jumping, close agility, maybe even better agility. He'd have similar excel. He'd be like two or three off. And then the speed would be only one off. This is like baby Jalen Ramsey for a fraction of the price, guys. Just getting out there. He's very physical, too. If you ever use him, he lays the boom. 
he he like can somehow return when he gets interceptions he returns it really well trust me this guy's kind of a beast don't overlook him next on this list is aaron donald now it's not the limited time one because that aaron, limited time aaron donald too expensive but if you guys haven't already tried this actually let me compare this way i'll compare it to the limited time one so you guys can get an idea you remember you can power up your card close enough to the limited time one that you have so i powered up my aaron donald to a 90. The difference isn't that bad. It's less than it's less three less speed, three less excel, three less strength, two less tackle, one less play rec, one less block shed, one less power move, two less finesse move. It's very very close in stats. And remember, with the way this game plays, he's above a 90 play rec, chemmed up and powered up. This guy will have above 90 block shed. He has above 90 power move. He has 87 finesse, but we only really need one. And he has good tackling, above 90 strength, and decent athleticism. His Aaron Donald plays like a, a beast. Do not overlook him as a card either. Trust me. I he's ever since. I brought him to a 90 overall from an 89. He's been playing so different. He's been playing really, really good for me, especially because a lot of his stats hit over 90. Just something to look out for. Next, we got George Kittle. Again, not the limited time. You can power up your George Kittle to a 90 also, which is what I did. And this card's a beast. So he's got 83 speed, which besides this Kittle makes him one of the fastest tight ends in the game. 90 catch, which is above 90 stats. So that's really good. Catching traffic gets it done. Spec catch is okay. Route running's decent, but what really matters with these Kittles cards is that he has speed, catch, and run block. So he's kind of like another lineman out there. Like George, Greg Olson's nice, but with his 82 speed, although his catching is amazing, half the time someone's clamped on him, so he can't really get around them. So with the way this game plays, the ball just plops out. In the case of George Kittle, I don't have to just use him as a catcher. I can literally just leave him back there, run all day with him. Next on the list, we got a quarterback that hasn't been faded out yet, but I anticipate in the near future we'll be getting someone that competes with him slightly, which is why he's only at number five for now, but he will be going... I, he should be he should, should be higher, but because of I feel more people would come out soon, he won't be. Lamar Jackson, still a quarterback with above 90 speed. You can't overlook that. Escape artist, above 90 speed, 90 throw under pressure. That's pretty much what this card is right now. Now, what I want in the future is a quarterback with dashing dead eye. Trust me, I versed it. It is the most. I think it's so OP because no one really understands what it's like that you could literally throw on the run or outside the pocket and throw complete dots that are perfectly accurate. It, it's it's hell to verse. Trust me, I've went against the people who throw like. 50 yard running bombs perfect accuracy it really helps especially when you create space so i'm waiting for a quarterback that can get that i don't think he can i'd be i sound really dumb if he can but i'm pretty sure i looked i know luck can get it next on the list is deon sanders not this one again i love these power cards everyone's always asking hey um do you power up the the mutt tank cards yeah i power up every single one i love them deon sanders less one less speed one less excel one less agility one less jumping one less play wreck four less man coverage Seven less zone. Okay, so the zone he gets hit on, and the press, it doesn't matter. Deion Sanders press is irrelevant. So literally the only difference on this card is the zone. And you want to know why the man isn't the difference? Because if you chem this guy up with lockdown times two, he gets a 90 man. So it's threshold. doesn't even matter. The only difference is that his zone will be an 85 instead of an instead of 90. So his zone, will be, his zone will hit threshold, but again, in, with Deion Sanders, in man coverage, he's really, really good. In blitz, and especially when you're blitzing, people trying to burn you and stuff. People trying to uh, get man beaters. Deion Sanders is perfect, very athletic. I love this Deion Sanders. Look at it. He's literally one less stat in almost everything. And that is a 2 million coin card, 180k coin card, maybe even less. So trust me, take my advice on this one. That Deion Sanders plays like a beast. Obviously, he can't get abilities, but that's why I do it on positions I don't put abilities on. Typically, I don't put them on cornerbacks right now. I use most of them on my um, pass rush. Now, number three, Lawrence Taylor ain't getting kicked out of this list anytime soon. Lawrence Taylor is a monster. You guys need to have Lawrence Taylor on your team all year, quite honestly. I wouldn't just have him just for now. I'm going to keep him on my team all year. You can't beat that right there. 85 speed, 88 excel and as a pass rusher. Insane. The second he gets off that roll, the second he block sheds, he's in your face. Then he's got 86 strength, 86 tackle, 85 play rec, 86 block shed, 90 power move, 80 finesse move. His next car is going to be above all 90 stats with probably even 90 speed, guys. You're gonna, you should be scared of the next card. Like last year when the next card came out of Thanksgiving, it was over. No one could even pass anymore. He gets in the backfield way too fast. And now we have abilities this year, trust me. Get your Lawrence Taylor now while you still can. Next on the list, Jalen Ramsey. And remember, you don't have to get the full one. You could also power him up to a 90. But look at that athleticism. Like I always say, the, the knock on Jalen Ramsey every year when he first comes out is he has insane cover stats. He's locked down, but he has no athleticism this year. And always the second card of Jalen Ramsey gives him athleticism. So this year we got the athleticism card right away, which is Mud Hero's card. So he has 89 speed, 89 excel, 86 agility, 90 jumping. That puts him up there with almost, almost the athletic corners in the game right now. 
and not to mention he also has 88 play rec 93 man 91 zone 93 press now with lockdown powered up and everything i have on him in my lineup he ends up with like a 95 man 93 zone 95 press 90 play rec this card is a monster guys ramsey has made a lot of plays for me and even if he doesn't make plays he clamps people up so people don't even throw his way that's something you have to realize too if he's not getting picks for you maybe he's just clamping them up and people aren't throwing his way and first in the list i think i spelled his name wrong yeah i did saquon barkley guys i have loved every bit of this card he has made me re-love madden again like re-love running the game like before i was getting tired of mark sound but this saquon barkley right here guys plays insane i got uh evasive on him leapfrog and i think homer this car right here, 90 speed, 91 excel, 84 agility, 93 carrying, 75 catching, 87 elusiveness, 81 trucking, 94 break tackle. That 94 break tackle, I promise you, you feel it every running play. He, he's like a bowling ball. He's a piece of pinball. Every time he gets hit, he like bounces off fit. He does a lot of weird animations off people. He literally has a 94 break tackle. You can like feel it in the game. I didn't know if you'd be able to feel it the way I do, but you do. And it's really cool. Trust me, Saquon Barkley, the best running back in the game. My only concern with him is that I think a Barry Sanders or a Ladanian Thompson might come out within the next month or two. But I, I would just have both of them. Saquon will be more like a power back for me. And then they'll be more of like an elusive back. Which I'll use, I'll use two back sets anyway. So I really don't mind to have two running backs in this game. But guys, that is about it for the video. That is all 10. We got Adams, DeCastro, Brown, Donald, Kittle, Lamar, Dion, Lawrence, Taylor, Ramsey, Saquon. And these guys aren't too overpriced. They fall within a range that a lot of people can afford. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. We're 70 subs away, so run that sub button up. Let's hit it by today. I'd be super, super happy if we could. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Comment down below some video ideas and who you think I left out of this list. And that's it, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.